Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking at Nellie Louise Davis. She, it says date of last contact, January 27th, 1975, <coughs> from Duval, Washington. She was 35 years old. She was five foot tall and 160 pounds, it says. Um, brown hair, blue eyes. Uh, clothing, it just says jacket unknown, footwear, it just says tennis shoes, it doesn't say any transportation. And the only images and documents is a picture of this must have been her home. And quite a beautiful home, I think. It looks like it's got a beautiful yard and a beautiful area. So it looks nice. Um, Here's the contact for the Kings County Sheriff's Office and the agency case number. If you have any information, even if you gave it to authorities years ago and years have gone by and you're not sure if they still have that information, because, you know, they were maybe writing the information down. Some of them may not have been writing the information down. Maybe they were going by memory. And even if they wrote it down, they may not have it anymore. Um, so... It's been a lot of years, so if you have any information or any knowledge of what might have happened, please contact authorities. Even if you heard information through your relatives or grandparents or other people, you can give them that information and let them know that it's here saying you heard it from other people and you're not sure if it's true, but you thought you should give it to them in case it might help them. And then they can decide if it's important or relevant or not. This is um, her case on missingin.org. So you can see it. I love their, the way they lay everything out so it's easy to read. And here are some Jane Doe's. I did a name is case search. And this is what it shows. There's one in Tennessee. There's one in Cal couple in California. Let's see, when did she go missing? Um, January 20th. How can I forget that date? January 27th, 1975, and she was 35 years old, January 27th, 35, so this one isn't, these aren't the right ages, and I didn't put the age in there, so I thought I, maybe I didn't, I don't think I put the age, her age in there, so we will add her age. And that puts it down to 13. And let's see. We have Maricopa, Arizona. That always shows up. It just seems like a lot of people in Maricopa. Then we have the one in Lynn, Oregon. And that's this lady right here. And it says she was 5 foot tall. And they can't estimate her weight. But she died between 1966 and 1976. That's a 10 year difference. Um, skeletal remains of an unidentified female were discovered off of Oregon State Highway 20 near Swamp Mountain Road outside of Sweet Home, Oregon. And so there's some more information you could pause to see. How do they know her eye color? Oh, that may not be her because this has an eye color of brown and her eyes were blue. How do they know the eye color if she died anywhere from 1966 to 1976. There's no way they would know the eye color if she had been there for 10 years. Oh, DNA phenotyping says eye color is brown or hazel. Okay, so it could be brown or hazel. So, and there's, it's got accessories and clothing. And usually you get the sizes and everything like that when you have a Jane Doe. Which I wish they had on when somebody went missing. And you can pause it and look at that. And there's some images of what she may have looked like, this Jane Doe. Which it doesn't mean that that's her. It could be pretty much almost anybody that died in that time period. That fits that criteria. Because we don't know what happened to her or anything like that. And let's see, there's a couple in Texas. There's one in Clark County, Nevada. Not till 1995 though, so... 
Yeah. The one in Maricopa, this one is before her, so. Wow. And then there's pages where you could go look to see why people go missing. Because there's so many different reasons why people go missing. And so you can pause this and read it if you like. So. Yeah. And if you have, um, like I said, if you have any information about what happened to this young lady, please contact authorities. And I love that house. It's beautiful. And um, please feel free to leave comments. And hopefully, um, hopefully this will spark some kind of renewed interest in her case. And anyway, um, thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day. Bye-bye.